Welcome to today's debate. Today's debate will be between the presidential candidates about some of the problems facing our nation. I present to you President Obama and Governor Romney. We have recently gone through the worst recession since the Great Depression. Over the last 30 months, we have seen 5 million jobs created in the private sector. We still have a lot of work to do, and we must, and we must invest in education and training for teachers, develop new sources of energy in America, and change the tax code to make sure that we are helping small businesses and companies investing in the U.S. We must reduce our deficit in a responsible way that allows us to make the investments we have to. Improving our education systems using Race to the Top, it's a program that is raising standards and improving the training to be a teacher. I want to hire more teachers, create two million slots in community colleges so that people can be trained in jobs of today. Lower I want to lower corporate tax rates, especially for manufacturing, down to about 25%. I also want to close loopholes that are giving incentives to companies shipping jobs overseas and give tax breaks to companies investing in the U.S. Thank you. Rodney, would you like to add on to what President Obama just said? Part one of my plan is to achieve energy independence on this continent by 2020. America is blessed with natural resources, and exploiting those resources will make millions of jobs, not only in the energy industry, but also in industries like manufacturing that will benefit from more energy at cheaper prices. America's economy will boom when billions of dollars are kept here instead of sent overseas to buy oil. Thank you. Governor Rahm, how do you feel about new technology in the classroom, such as iPads, Kindles, and iPhones, iPods? Uh, I believe that technological advances are a great thing and we should start using them more often in the classroom to prepare our children for new jobs that are opening in those fields. Thank you. President Obama? Technology has become a big part of today. I think that te technological advances in classrooms are great as long as they're not a distraction. They can hire, they can create a better education for students. Thank you. President Obama, how do you feel about legal immigration? Legal immigration is a complicated issue that I have worked to take care of. I have worked to build a consensus for Congress to pass a com comprehensive immigration reform. I'm focusing, on immigrant I'm focusing on immigration enforcement efforts to those who are endangering our communities. I have proposed a plan to keep families together by allowing spouses and children of U.S. citizens to stay in the country while they begin the legal Im immigration process. Thank you. Governor Rossi, you have a I feel that illegal immigrants shouldn't be tolerated and should be removed from the U.S. and find in the country where they're from. Thank you. Governor Romney, should employers require other employees to speak English on the job? No, they shouldn't, because if employees could require Spanish-speaking workers to speak English, then Spanish-speaking workers could require English-speaking workers to speak Spanish. Also, it is the job of the employer to hire the people that they want to hire, and if they hire a Spanish-speaking person, that is their choice. I believe that the decision to hire a non-English-speaking employee is up to the employer entirely. That is part of the application process and should be reviewed by the employer. Thank you. President Obama, how do you feel about more school days in the school year? I feel that necessarily adding more school days to the school year will help, with, will help get America to the top. But I also believe that it could not work because students will not want to go to school and that would make a lot of issues because they would not feel like they, because they would not have the progression to uh, learn more. Thank you. <coughs> the length of a school year doesn't matter. 
If a school is effective, they don't need more days. I also believe it is a parent's choice to send their kids to public or private schools. I will spend money strengthening our borders. I will also start cracking down on illegal immigrants and making immigration tests harder. Also deporting illegal immigrants. I will make that quicker and more efficient. I will also make large corporations like McDonald's provide a quarterly census of all their workers and what they're paid. If anything looks suspicious, it will be investigated further. And after the investigation, if they are, fi if they are hired, hiring illegal immigrants, they will be heavily fined. Also, the borders will be reinforced with four electric fences running from the beginning to the end of Texas. And border crossings at the Canadian and Mexican borders will be doubled. Security at border crossings will be doubled. Like I said before, I'm focusing on immigration enforcement efforts on those who are endangering our communities. And I'm also trying to keep um, spouses and children of U.S. citizens in the country while they begin the process of becoming a legal immigrant. I also believe that the companies that are hiring illegal immigrants should be punished because it's illegal. Thank you. President Obama, how will you improve health care? I will improve health care by expanding access to preventive services such as flu shots and diabetes screenings. The Affordable Care Act puts an end to dropping or capping coverage when you get sick. I'm taking steps to keep Medicare affordable and the Affordable Care Act will close the gap on prescription drug coverage. Thank you. Governor Romney? I will improve Medicare by b blocking Medicaid grants to states, and I will limit both private and public insurance coverage, and I will also try to ensure public-private subsidies. Thank you. Governor Romney, if you were elected president of the United States, what would your energy plan be? I would plan to start more drilling on federal lands and offshore on the coast of Virginia. America has plenty of natural resources that we don't exploit. And once we start, we can keep more money here in America. <coughs> I plan on requiring to double fuel efficiency, creating jobs and saving 12 billion barrels of oil, promoting a safe, responsible development of about a 100-year supply of natural gas at home will create 600,000 new jobs, helping to expand domestic oil production, offering millions of acres of land for development, We'll be opening about 75% of oil and gas resources in the Gulf of Arctic. Wind and solar energy are also something that we need to be exploring because it's the fuels of tomorrow. President Obama, if Puerto Rico becomes the 51st United States, should English be the only official language? If Puerto Rico becomes the 51st United States, they should not have to have an official language because uh, the, the United States of America does not have an official language, and that would be un-American. I completely agree with President Obama on this matter. Thank you. President Obama, do you believe environmentalists when they say we are experiencing global warming? I believe environmentalists when they say that we are experiencing global warming and I will do everything I can to prevent it. Creating wind sol and solar energy and also using biofuels will help to prevent this. Thank you. Governor Romney? Scientists are still debating about global warming and there isn't enough money to invest in alternative energies at this time. Thank you. Governor Romney, if you could change something here in the Hartnett Middle School, what would it be? I would change lunch time for 8th graders. Having lunch at 10.30 is simply unfair. Having lunch at 10.30 makes kids not eat breakfast in the morning, and when you don't eat breakfast in the morning, you're not as good in school. Also, over half of the 8th grade class in Frederick W. Hartnett Middle School has signed a petition to change their lunch time. Thank you. President Obama, do you have anything to add or a different thing that you would change? Instead of focusing on things like what time students eat lunch, I'd focus on the 
on the I would focus on the punishment systems we use here. Suspension is sometimes is sometimes effective, but on a lot of students, for a lot of students it's just like a recess from school. I believe that using suspensions, that taking away suspensions and making more in-house suspensions would be a more effective way of punishing students. I have something to say about Mr. Obama's rebuttal. Okay. I believe that by changing the lunch time to 10 to 11:30 instead of 10:30 and encouraging children to eat breakfast, it will make them less moody in school and cut down on the reasons that they have to have suspensions or in-house suspensions. I do not believe that students don't eat breakfast in the mornings because their lunch is at 10:30. If students get to school around 7:30 and school is only 6 hours long, that is halfway through the day and that by that time students have their bodies have set themselves to be hungry at 10.30. Okay, thank you. Governor Brown, what, were you, what do you think about equal pay for women? I believe that equal pay for women is a great thing. Women are equal in this country, and their pay should be equal to the pay of a man. Thank you. President Obama, your rebuttal. I have signed the Lilly Ledbetter Fair Pay Act to help fight back against pay discrimination. It's not fair. Equal work means equal pay. Thank you. President Obama, how would you handle vandalism here in school? I believe vandalism is defined as destroying the property of somebody else's. That, that is not fair and it should be punished. Using, I will punish. I would punish students depending on the severity of their vandalism. Thank you, Governor Romney. I agree with what President Obama says on this matter. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed today's debate. I would like to thank both the candidates, President Obama and Governor Romney, for a very lively debate. Don't forget to go on November sixth. Have a great day.